Next up, we're going to go to staff. Now create um, all of the staff accounts that you would like to add. We'll add the employee. Um, we'll put in their information here. So I'll just put John Doe. I'll put his email, john at test.com. Um, add his phone number. Make sure you add their cell phone because if they get locked out of their account or if they have to reset their password, it's going to send them a link or a, a code to this number. So make sure you put their correct phone number in there. Password, uh, create the password for them, um, you know, and then make sure you copy it. Um, you can always, once they log in, they can always reset it. Um, if you want to set up a signature for them, and then this is what's important, the permissions. You can control exactly what they can and cannot see. A lot of this stuff is pretty straightforward, the social social planner. Um, I wouldn't mess around with this one unless if you have maybe um, somebody that's doing color separations and you don't want them to see anything internal, you just want them to see what's assigned, then you would select this one. But for most of your staff members, you can just kind of keep stuff on or off. Um, if you don't want them editing um, forms or web web uh, pages or anything like that, turn that off. If you don't want them to mess with the automations, turn that off. Um, if you want them to, you know, not be able to take appointments or see the calendar, you can turn that off. Um, so like I said, a lot of this stuff is pretty straightforward.